Hello everyone! Today we're diving into something that can be crucial in order to protect your information. Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA for short. We're seeing this security feature everywhere, and there's a good reason for that. In today's information society, where cyber attacks are getting more sophisticated by the day, we need to make sure our access controls evolve too. We're going to break down what MFA is, how it works, and why it's so important for protecting our digital lives. Let's start with the basics. When we talk about multi-factor authentication, we're talking about a security system that goes beyond just passwords. We add extra steps to verify that users are really who they claim to be when they're trying to access sensitive information. Think of it as adding multiple locks to your front door instead of relying on just one. What makes MFA special is that it combines different types of verification. At least two different methods can be used to confirm identity, and these can come in various forms. Let's break down the four main types. First, it will ask you for something you know, like a PIN or password. Then, for something you have, maybe a security token or your phone. It can also work with something you are. This is where biometric data comes in, like your fingerprint. And finally, it can look at something you do, your behavioral patterns, like how you type or where you usually log in from. Now, let's walk through how this actually works in practice. When you first set up MFA, you'll register and link different verification methods to your account. Then, every time you need to access the system, you'll go through a simple but secure process. Enter your username and password, then provide that second or third form of verification. Only when all these checks match up will you get access to your account. You might ask, why isn't a password enough anymore? Well, the reality is that traditional passwords just aren't cutting it in today's world. Cybercriminals have gotten pretty creative, and we're seeing more sophisticated attacks like phishing and identity theft. MFA adds that extra layer of security that makes it much harder for the bad guys to break in. The benefits of using MFA are significant. We're seeing reduced security risks, increased confidence in digital systems, and better protection against various types of cyber attacks. Plus, many systems now include smart features that can detect and alert you about suspicious login attempts. If you're thinking about implementing MFA in your organization, we've got some practical tips to share. Always create user roles with appropriate privileges, use strong passwords, update your security credentials regularly, and follow the principle of least privilege, that is, only give users the access they absolutely need. To learn even more about MFA, head over to our blog and read our in-depth article about it. You can find the link in the description below. Looking to protect your users' data and privacy? At Smaltech, we offer comprehensive proctoring solutions, combining robust security with a seamless user experience, all while ensuring full compliance with data protection laws. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on the latest in cybersecurity and digital protection. Thanks for watching.